Hey Photo Beast fam, welcome back to the channel. Today I have something incredible to share with you all. Now, if you're into photography, rock history, or just geeking out on the rarest of the rare, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned because this is one of the coolest stories I've ever been a part of. So, rewind back a few years. I get a call from my buddy Adam, who not only lived with the guys from Metallica back in the day, but he also played in a band with Johnny Resnick from the Goo Goo Dolls. Casual, right? He tells me he's got something that's basically a slice of rock and roll history. We're talking about old school negatives. Metallica, right after they dropped, killed them all before they were the metal giants that we know today. These negatives, they show the band chilling, living in a house, mattresses on the floor, and most importantly, Cliff Burton was still with them. Cliff was a beast on the base, and sadly he passed away not long after these photos were taken. Not one, and I mean no one, has ever seen these images apart from Adam and myself. Not even Cliff's family or the band themselves. It's like a time capsule of heavy metal history, and honestly, it's wild to think that I got my hands on these images in the first place. Now, here's my part of the story that comes in. Back in the 1980s, I was living in Charlotte, North Carolina, and my mom managed the bar at the Holiday Inn across the street from the arena. So picture this, it's a rock concert, the place is packed, and my mom's buddy, Arthur, who happened to be the sound engineer and literally looked like Dudley Moore from the movie Arthur, he would hook us up with backstage passes to hang out with bands like Metallica, Ozzy, Dio, Motley Crue, Megadeth. No big deal, right? And on top of that, not only did I get to meet all these bands, but I got to sit in the mixers, probably the best seat in the house. Now fast forward a few decades, Adam and I start talking about rock and roll memorabilia and things like that, and our past histories meeting certain bands. And he knows my love for photography. So Adam trusted and handed me these negatives on one of those crazy circular wheel discs that they used to use. And I'm thinking, how the heck do I even process these? So I grabbed my trusty Samsung tablet, I turned it into a light source, and I snapped shots of the negatives using my Canon R5 and a tripod. After that, I brought them into Lightroom, I did some colorizing in Photoshop, and even threw the whole Topaz Gigapixel Denoise Sharpen package just to clean them up as best as I could. And the results were, well, let's say, they were good, but not great. For a few years ago, they were decent. But here we are in 2024 and technology that we use now basically blows away the stuff that we use then. I'm talking about apps like Fix My Pick, for instance, that I use to clean this picture of James Hetfield. If you look at the before and after, it is just astonishing. And this is just 24 short months since the last time I tried to fix these images. Now, I truly really believe it's astonishing that something on my phone can outperform software on my high-end desktop. I gotta give props to Photoshop and Topaz. Don't get me wrong, they're still great tools and I use them constantly to clean up and do restorations. But let's just say, for these specific Metallica pictures, fixing my pick was the real MVP right now. Who knew that an Android app would be the future of photo restoration? Who knew, right? Or will it? We'll just have to wait and see. These photos, they're not just snapshots. They're a piece of music history. They're a reminder where these legends came from. And bringing them back to life with today's tech, that's why I love photography. We get to preserve the moments that tell a story, a story that may otherwise have been forgotten. Now, before I wrap everything up, I wanna let you all in on something special. I've got a new book coming out that I'm giving away for free to my subscribers. And if you're not already in, I've started a Photo Beast Facebook group where we can all hang out, share our own stories, our pictures, and our techniques. Whether you're a pro or just starting out, this community is all about learning, growing, and geeking out over photography all together. So join the Photo Beast Facebook group, link in the description. Be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and for more killer content, check out the description below for the Facebook group and details about the free book. Let's keep building this awesome Photo Beast community together. And who knows, maybe you'll be the next one restoring legendary moments of your own. Huh.
snapping wildlife beast of the lens carolina roots tech reviews we blend camera clicks getting wild in the trees photo beast here bringing wildlife to his knees photo beast snap and capture tech and nature beast wild and free from the carolinas come and see Boom, ready for every click, take a shot, lick a stick. Pump.